What up, what up, what up? We back with another episode of the Mike to Mike podcast. I'm Mike Coins. Come on, let's cheer it up, kids. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we back with a special episode. It's very, very special. This is probably one of my favorite episodes because I'm here with my lovely and beautiful wife, Kania. How you doing? I'm doing good. You doing good, babe? Yes. Hey, I'm glad to have you on. We have a special episode. Uh, so normally, I know we do things like just, you know, talk about sports and things like that. Well, this is sports related, but I wanted to do something special because we're about to go out of town. We're going to Mexico. My best friend is getting married. So I want to leave you guys with a special episode because I am taking a little break. Uh, but I, I wanted to leave you with a dope pod to still step to. So I said, you know. Why not ask my wife a couple questions? Okay, so when I first met Kania, uh, I, I, she really didn't know a lot about sports. Okay, so we have been together what now? Uh, Thirteen years now. So I would hope, <laughs> I would hope to believe that Kania knows a little bit more about sports since she's been with me in these past thirteen years. Don't you think so? I would disagree. Well, you ain't got no faith in yourself at all. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like. You can help me out a little more. Like I feel uh, like you don't have any patience. To I'm trying. Explain it to me. I'm trying to help out more, but she watches a little bit with me and stuff like that. I do. So I said, you know what? I'm going to ask Kanye some questions, and we're going to see how many sports related questions she gets right. So if she gets it right, she's going to get this. If she gets it wrong, she's going to get this. And we're going to keep track of how many that she actually gets right and wrong. And hopefully, I'm telling you, hopefully it's 50%. All right. Hopefully it's 50%. I know she's probably not going to get all these, but I got a little faith in my wife. I think she could get 50% of them. So we're going to get started. And I got the questions here on my tablet. So let's do it. So your first question, okay? And you mm -hmm. need to really... Listen to the question and answer it, but listen to the question fully, okay? Mm -hmm. The first question is, how many points is in a touchdown? How many points is in a touchdown? Yes. Field goal in included? Uh, the, just the touchdown. Six points. She got the first one right. I told you. I, 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 I'm telling you, I've been working with her a little bit. I think <laughs> she could get this, okay? So I'm going to give you a check by that one. So let's go to the check. And I'm going to make sure we give you your credit for that first one. So let's do check right here. Check. All right. So the next one is how many yards do you need to get in football to get to a first down? How many yards? How many yards do you need to get to a first down? yards that's her second one she got it right okay, okay i told okay. you so she's been working so this is kind of a you know this is a, a, a easier one i would think but here it is this man played for the chicago bulls from 1984 to 1998 and won six championships who is it michael jordan yes so she is three for three y'all she cooking right now she she on fire okay this man played for the LA Lakers from 1979 to 1992 and won five championships. Magic Johnson. There we go, babe. You're doing good. You're doing good. All right. This man played for the New England Patriots and is the all-time leader in yards and touchdowns in the NFL. Tom Brady. Yeah. <laughs> this man was drafted by the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2003 and was the number one pick. LeBron James. Again. Okay. Okay, Kania. You impressing me right now. I thought you would at least get one wrong right now. Okay. But hey, hey I'm, I'm telling you. I told you. I'm rubbing off on you. All right. This man is the head football coach of the Colorado Buffaloes. Primetime. Deion Sanders. You only know that because we talk about it all the time. <laughs> okay. So in basketball, mm -hmm. there's something called an and one. Can you explain to me what an and one is? I know the shoes. No. I'm talking about the actual play. What is an and one in basketball? That's what the shoes are named after. I see the little man. No, we're not talking about the actual company and one. I know that. I'm talking about what's on the shoe, like that. Yeah, movie? but that has nothing to do with it. Like a layup? 
Is that your final answer? I can't help you out. Make a layup. I'm gonna go with a layup. <laughs> so that's that's incorrect. An and one is when somebody scores the hoop and they get fouled for another point. It's called an and one. So if they were to make the layup and get fouled, it's called an and one because they get close. a free throw. I said a layup. So instead of getting two points, you could get three points. Or instead, instead of getting three points, if you get fouled, you get an and one, you get four points. You get a chance at four points. So you're doing pretty good, though. Mm. All right. That's the first one you got wrong. Okay. So I'm going to put an X by that one. All right. So what team did Albert Pujols play for? This is an easy one. The Cardinals. Yes. St. Louis Cardinals. Got that one. All right. Who scored 81 points for the L.A. Lakers? Kobe Bryant. You better get that one right. You better get that one right. All right. So, this one's a little bit more trickier. Name the two NFL teams in Los Angeles. The two NFL teams. Well, uh, Kania, if you don't get this one right, you... I mean, I know it's the Rams. Okay. You got Los one. Los Angeles Rams. All right. So, what's the other one? Oakland Raiders. Mm. Wait. Say the question again. The two NFL teams... In the Los Angeles <laughs> greater area, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, California. What's the two NFL teams? Yeah, tell. Yes. In Los Angeles. Yes, they do. Are you, they good? You already got the answer wrong. Do you want me to give it to you, or you want to keep on going and trying to figure it out? Give me a hint. What's to start with? The boats. Boats. Electricity. I'm giving you hints of what the team name would be. Mm -mm. It's the LA Chargers. Mm -mm. They play in the same stadium as the Rams do. That's football? Yes, it is. Mm -mm. So, excuse us, y'all, if my kids start walking in. All right, we got kids and they are, <laughs> they watching us. Do you want to come on here and say hi? All right, just come on here and say hi real quick because they, they want to be on the podcast. Come on. Say hi. Don't act shy now. <laughs> Look at it, it's Kari. All right, you gotta turn that tablet down, Kari. All right, yeah, this is my family, yeah. So it, I mean, this is this is the Mike to Mike show. This is the real Mike to Mike show. All right, we gonna keep on going here. Thank you. All right, yeah. So, who was the quarterback for the St. Louis Rams when they won the Super Bowl in two thousand? Well, nineteen ninety nine. I'm sorry. Kurt Warner. Got that one right. All right. What is Michael Jordan's jersey number? 23. Now, if I don't know that. Name three teams in Dallas. Three teams in Dallas? Yeah, three pro sports teams right now in Dallas. Name me three. Dallas Cowboys. Right. Dallas Mavericks. Right. The, in Texas, you said? In Dallas. In Dallas. Mm. Do the Rangers count? Yes, they do. You got okay. that right. The Texas Rangers play in Dallas, but Arlington to be exact, but that is the greater Dallas area. All right. So, next one. Who is the all time leader in three pointers in the NBA? Steph Curry. What is the number one athletic shoe brand in the world? Jordans. You said, wait, 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 no, hold on. Nike. You technically got the first one right because Jordan and Nike is the same thing. Oh. <laughs> All right. Name three LA Rams players. <sighs> okay. Matthew Stafford. Right. Hmm. Oh, what's his name? The ones I'm thinking of aren't on the team anymore. Who else? Like Jalen Ramsey. But he yeah. ain't on there no more. Okay. Yeah, but it's more than that. So. I can sorry. I'm sorry. I, this is. I, I'm not editing this out either. But, Kari, <laughs> you need to go sit down. Go sit down over there and watch well, Daddy from here. Seriously. Seriously. Go, go sit down. It ain't funny. Go sit down. All right. So, what's the other two? I 
can see him. Head of defense. Okay. What's his name? I know his name. I will say it. But my name but his name is going blank right now. Well, you got I mean, do you want to give Cooper up? Cup. Okay, that's two. You got one more. Do I get a hint? I can't give you a hint on this one. Not even the initials. A D. I know. I feel like it's Anthony, but it ain't Anthony. Mm. Caramel skin, low cut. Anthony Davis. I know this. I already know it. No, it was Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. I, I knew it. I see All number right. 99. I know it. I just couldn't get it. Okay. Let's keep going on. Who just won this year's Super Bowl? Kansas City Chiefs. Got that one. Won't be for long. Just let me let, let me let me just say that real quick. I mean, congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs, but uh, we coming, baby. And you know who I'm talking about. Them L.A. Rams is coming, and I ain't got to say too much. But all y'all out there that's been hating every time I, you know what? Something just gets in my spirit when I hear the Super Bowl, and it ain't us, and it really makes me upset. But I'm telling you this right now, we are on our way, and we back. I'm telling you, we gonna prove all these doubters wrong out there i'm just letting everybody know that all the ones that's been hating on me and hating on my team i'm just letting y'all know that right now all right i know we doing this right now with my wife and i need to get back to this but it just, i just had to let that be known because somebody needs to hear that out there somebody's out there hating on me and i'm telling you right now bro haters never prosper i always say that haters never prosper all right let's get back to it how many games are in an nba final series mm. 60 no in the nba final series it could be up to seven games all right mm -hmm. so who owns the dallas cowboys jerry jones <laughs> you know who owns the la rams not a clue that's crazy not a clue you know who jerry is that clown yeah because you always talk about him. yeah he wears a red nose Just had to put that out there. <laughs> Clowns. All right. What team, what city does the NBA team, the Celtics, play in? Boston. How many quarters are there in a basketball game? Four. What team do Gabrielle Union husbands play for? Cavaliers. No, no, no. Miami Heat. I lied. Miami Heat. He played for Dwayne both. Wade. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did do both. Who? This is my last one, and I'm pretty sure you're going to probably get this one right. Who is Jackie Christie's husband? Doug Christie. All right. So, surprisingly, I mean, we got to give it up. We got to give it up. You know, you did a great job, so we're going to give it up. Let's cheer it up, kids. <laughs> You did pretty good. Okay, so out of all those, out of all those, you know, you you only missed. Let's see here: one, two, three, four. Which one? You missed what's an and one. Okay. okay. You missed That's the fair. two NFL teams in LA. Okay. Mm -hmm. You missed the three LA Rams players. And then 50-50. No, it's not no 50-50 on that. Because you did not get I the knew last number, one right. number 99. Kenia, and I knew what he looked like. Kenia, you didn't get the last one right. All mm -hmm. right. So you didn't get that one. And then you missed how many games are in the NBA oh, final yeah, yeah. series. Okay, that's fair. Uh, but as far as that, I, you know what? I'm pretty impressed. That that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I mean, I was thinking that it was probably gonna be 50%. But you know mm -hmm. what? I've done my job. I think I've done my job with you. <laughs> And that's why I think you did such a great job because you've been watching me for so long. And my, you know, my knowledge of sports and my high intellect of sports has rubbed off on you. That's mm -hmm. what I think. So okay. we got to give it up for that. I got to give some gunshots for that because I feel good. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that my wife got, you know, pretty much almost more than 75% of these questions right. All right. So before we leave, because this is just a short one. Did you have anything you wanted to say? 
No, I think I'm happy that you... T- I feel like it's only right that I be the first lady on here, of course. Right. Um, and I think you're doing an amazing job. I thank you for I that. I think that this is going to take off. You're going to do great things. And I'm just supportive and I'm here for the ride. Aww. <laughs> thank you, babe. I appreciate that. All right. And Kari, did you want to tell him bye? Because you've been on here the whole time. And y'all gonna see them a lot more. I got a lot of stuff planned for the Mike to Mike podcast. I know, you know, Kania just asked me today. I thought it was just going to be a sports podcast. So I have to let everybody know that it is not just going to be a sports podcast. This is going to be a sport. This is going to be a podcast about Mike. You know, mainly based in sports, but a lot of other things. So, you know, when summertime comes, we're doing our summer sessions. We'll be talking about life. We'll be talking about faith. We'll be talking about everyday living. We'll be talking about sports. We'll be debating. We'll be doing all different types of things because, you know, only thing that's going to be going on is baseball. So we'll be talking about everything coming up in the summertime pretty soon. So just be on the lookout for all the content that we're putting out. You know, I want to put my family out there. We got a funny family. I don't know where Kylan is. You know, go get where's Kylan at? He has zero clothes. He has, yeah, he Just has, pull- <laughs> he has zero clothes on. But Kylan never has clothes on, so <laughs> Kylan never has clothes on. But I know a lot of people. This is the thing about me. I want people to see the real me. I don't want you to see the fake me. I want you to see my family. I want you to see how we live. I want you to see all that. And then, of course, sports is the main thing always. Mm-hmm. But you know, I, I I would love for people to get an insight of who I am, and who I am is my family. So you know, you're gonna see them on here. Uh, you know, a lot more. You know, we're gonna be doing a lot of things. I got a lot of things in my head. I got a lot of plans. You should see my notes. My notes are crazy. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Uh, this has been an excellent one, and you know what? I'm gonna give Kania a question. What? Now, if it out of all the sports, one sport Kyla can play. One sport Kyla can play. Number one. First of all, here he. First of all, Kyla Kyla yeah. can play. Hi, you say hi, Kai. Hi. Look, you see him. You see him. You tell him hi. hi. All right, Kyla can play whatever sports he wants to play. But what would you? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, that's his favorite thing to say. He says yes, sir, all the time. But yes, sir. But I would say the best thing that Kyla, I think Kyla would be good at, uh, probably would be basketball. Uh, because it uses all those uh, 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 attributes he has already that I see. He's quick. You know he's going to be long. I think he's going to be tall. I think he'll be about six five, which every you know most basketball players are tall. I would say Kylan's main sport would be basketball. But when he's young like this, you have to put him in all sports. So I would say put him in flag football. It doesn't have to be tackle football first. He could play two hand touch uh, football. He could play soccer. He could play, he can play all of them. But he's going to play. Yeah, he could play baseball. I play baseball. My dad put me in baseball. So. Yeah, he can play all of them. So I think I think Kylan would be good at all sports, but I think his main sport would probably be basketball uh, because he has some pretty good basketball players in the family, and I think uh, you know he got coaches in the family. He he has all different type of people in the family that could pour into him, and he could be a superstar once we done with him. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm thinking. Okay. You had any other questions you want to ask me? No. All right. So I guess that's gonna be our podcast. All right, y'all wave and tell everybody bye. Bye-bye. Tell them bye-bye. Tell them bye-bye. Look at the camera and say bye-bye, Kylan. Thank y'all and appreciate y'all. And like I said, be on the lookout for the next episodes. They will be coming very soon. Be on the lookout. I appreciate y'all. And don't forget, don't forget to go on that YouTube channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. If you looking on 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 the Mike to Mike podcast Facebook page, like, please follow, subscribe. like, comment, and subscribe because we need those subscribers. We got to get them subscribers up, and we got to get those follows up. And and don't be afraid to share it with somebody else. That's my main thing. Please don't be afraid to share it with somebody else. Share it with a family member. Share it with a friend. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all, and see y'all next week.